see it. You see it? Nice, that's it. What is going on guys, Marty here. We are in West Milford, and we're gonna be checking out the plane crash that's in the woods over here. So, come with us. So we just parked in the cul-de-sac back there, and then we just walk on the trail. And uh, I pretty much found online directions how to get to this plane crash. Life as a nomad, so whoever posted that up, thank you so much for leaving the coordinates and all that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you gotta go down this way. Oh yeah, I see what they mean by it getting swampy over here. So yeah, in the publication, they're saying watch out for swampy lands and also snakes too. Apparently there's venomous snakes here, I don't know. Hopefully we don't encounter any, but we do have some decently vicious snakes in Jersey. Some of them do have rattlesnakes and all that. We haven't even been walking that long. I'm looking up the coordinates. Like apparently we're right there too. And yeah, it's true. It's swampy. Get swampy here. Oh yeah. Fall in the mud. Definitely don't want that. See you see it? Nice, that's it. Guys, we haven't even been walking, I don't even think like 20 minutes in the woods and we found it. If you decide to check this place out for yourself, wear boots, no doubt. I'm sinking like maybe half a foot into this mud right here. Dude, that's crazy. Just here in the woods. This plane's been here for like four decades, just rotting away in the woods. Now the military did take the engines off for analysis, see what went wrong. Both pilots crash landed here, survived. That's just ridiculous. That's crazy to see, the controls are still like all right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely gotta be one of the ejector seat sliding rails where it would just pop out. Yeah, the pilot also had some. Yeah, guys, we're actually walking all over the plane because it's all swamp around here. Like, I just stepped in some crazy mud over here, and it's bad. It's really bad. You can see some bull holes, but that's from the locals around here just target practicing on this plane. It's a relic in the woods. I don't know why you would shoot at this, but that's not the reason why it came out of the sky. If you look at the wing, you actually see the landing gear below. Still there. But yeah, this plane crashed in 1967, and it's actually a Lockhead T2V-1 Seaview Navy plane. And I actually do have a picture of it on my phone over here to show you guys how it actually looked like. That's how it is now. So I was flying my drone around, and Adam was searching around. I think he found the front of the plane. Let's see if I can get to him. Where are you? Right here. Oh, how'd you get there? Uh, over here. Oh, okay, let me go back. Oh, no way. Nice. There she blows. Wow. Yeah, that's it, that's the front of it. Yeah, and it was orange originally, like... Yeah, yeah, exactly, like, just like the picture. So the main body is right over there. And right here, we got the nose. Alright guys, so I hope you like this little adventure of trying to find a crash plane in the woods. It didn't take us that long, I thought this might be a longer video. But, it was pretty fun. 
If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this place. And if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you do because we go on ventures all the time. And I'll catch you on the next one.